Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday Live Lessons. My name is Aldrin Guerrero. I'm joined by Mr. Aaron, the voice, Nakamura. Say what's up, Aaron. What's up? And by Kahai, the legend, Ferguson. Say what's up, Kahai. What's up? So Thursday Live Lessons is where we address any and all of your questions that we receive throughout the week or throughout two weeks or however long. Whatever questions that we get, we are live. So it is Thursday Live Lessons. We will answer those questions as well. So we'll answer the questions that came in to us, you know, earlier. And we'll also answer questions that are uh, that are coming to us via the live chat. Yes, we are live. There's a chat. Make sure you take advantage of it. You can ask questions. You can comment on uh, some of our answers and stuff. Let's just have a good conversation because uh, this is the show to do it. We are also in a podcast form. Format. So I know I haven't said that in a, in a few weeks, but if you guys want to download this, all you UU Plus subscribers, um, you know, you get to watch this as a live show. But if you want to take this on the road, uh, listen to us during your commute, or if you want to just kind of kick back in the backyard, this is some uh, ukulele talk or uke talk as we like to call it here at Ukulele on the Ground. You can download our podcast uh, to wherever you uh, download your favorite podcast at. Just look for Ukulele Underground Podcast or Thursday Live Lessons. It should be on there. Is that right, Kahai? Yeah, I think well, it's a lot of places. I don't know if like everywhere, but it's yeah, it's, it's a it's in a lot of places. Yeah, I mean definitely iTunes and stuff. Yep. Like, you know, yeah. Apple iTunes, you can get it from you know from there, and you can download it from our site too. I think yeah, all right it. on. So you know you have all these choices. Uh, for those of you folks who are listening to this on the podcast and you are not signed up for UU Plus, what are you waiting for? Sign up for UU Plus where you can watch this as a show. So I might be showing some things. Just like last week, I was like. I was doing mostly we show, yeah, off like the show with, like, uh, <laughs> with a little was, show like, thing and bar chords, right? Mm-hmm, bar mm-hmm. chord questions. So you know, it's it's kind of tough when you're just kind of listening, you know, to uh, to the audio. So if you want to watch the show and get all these other uh, great, um, you know, great perks when you sign for U Plus, such as Ukulele Underground University uh, private lessons, we have one on one coaching. coaching. <laughs> We have all we have this live stream right here. You have access to so many things over at UU Plus. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for UU Plus. Just take your ukulele playing to the next level. All right. So without further ado, hit me up with the first question. Kahat, go ahead. Uh, this is from George, mm-hmm. and uh, let me just pull up. Okay. Uh, he just asks, uh, in the next live lesson, could you discuss chord substitution and solo arrangement? To give any chord melody song more color and jazz, uh, jazz feel. Okay, um, I think we've talked a little bit about that before. Uh, the best person to uh, to answer that would be Mike. I was trying to get Mike in here next week Thursday, but uh, I can answer it just a little bit. So you know, you can use chord substitutions. Um, I you know I like to use chord extensions. You know, like I like to substitute. You know, maybe I'd use that word. Substitute chord extensions instead of using you know regular regular chords. So you just kind of color them up. So for example, if I have uh, you know if I have like Mary had a little lamb, I always like to use that. So if, you know it can do. Uh, so that would be your, you know, your chord melody because he's saying, you know, maybe use some chord substitutions for your chord melody. So maybe I want to substitute. So, so the oh. chord is. C. Oh, it's chord is C. Yes, chord is C. So you're playing these notes, and you're just adding. You're those adding notes those notes to the chord on so. top of the chord, and that's a like a standard chord. Very melody. standard chord. Yep. So you can uh, substitute maybe a major seven, for example. So this would be your C major seven. So, and then you can use. Because this is your C major seven right here, or I like to kind of do, do it like this. So I do it with that. So that's that C major seven, and then C major seven here. So it sounds a little bit more, you know, more jazzy. So if you can, um, you know, if you like doing those kind of things, I would suggest you, uh, you know, you learn some chord extensions because you. It's as easy as that, you know. You you already know what chord you're going to be playing, um, with you know with your with your regular chords. You can take some of the stuff that we have here already, uh, something like maybe Yellow Bird. So, right. So we have that. You can use an F major seven, just like how we did with the C and C major seven. You can do, and then you can use a B flat major seven. So it'll change it a little bit, but if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for kind of a jazzy, you know, kind of sound, or maybe a, um, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe add a six in there. So like a B flat with an add six, so 
and you can do that too, basically the G minor in there. So uh, you can you can substitute some uh, some of your chord extensions to uh, to make it even better. I mean, those just if we're doing chord melodies, those are technically chord extensions anyway. So you're you know you're playing your C chord. So you, this is also C, but then this is going to be a sus two. So. C sus two C sus two C C C. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of doing chord extensions anyway. So if you want to uh, kind of expand on that and learn better chords to substitute you know, that with, um, like the example that I gave would be major seven. But there's many other things that you know that you can use. Maybe like I don't know, um, a like a nine chord or maybe like a like a minor seven if you have a you know like. For uh, a minor, for, for minor chords, you can do a minor seven. I like to use um, uh, like add like add nines nowadays. Like if uh, if I'm doing, for example, like an island style. So um, right, that's the uh, or if I strummed it. So here is your G seven. So this kind of like it derives off of that. So this is your G, and you add the nine, so you would have. And a better way to do that is just to hold these bottom three strings here. So and that's a G finger. nine. G instead seven of... add nine. Oh, G seven add yeah. nine. Okay. So you can do um. And it sounds a little bit more jazzy to that. I mean, you can. But like I said, extension, so you can you know can add the nine. Because you're keeping the, you know, the seven. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and half. Be right here. So, uh, right there's your uh, your flat seven. So you're keeping that flat seven, but you're also adding a, um, you know, a nine in there. So you have the seven or the flat seven. You have the nine, and then you have the rest of that seven chord. So instead of this. All you're doing, extending this to that, mm -hmm. to uh, to to come up with a more jazzier sounding uh, sounding chord. So the best uh, approach to it is learning like lots and lots of chord extensions. But yeah, Mike, we'll get Mike down here so, and he'll uh, he'll give you loads more that you can. I think I've tried to ask him that before, but like, hey, what what other kinda, chords can I yeah, see, yeah. you know? Can I? Cause yeah, so the, here so the simple whatever. ones would be like for your major chords. Mm -hmm. Use a major seven. Major seven, yeah. Or, for your minor um, chords, you can use or minor a, sevens. Or a nine. Or a nine, yeah. And then for your minor chords, minor sevens. Yeah. And then for your seventh chords, mm -hmm. like a seventh add nine. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. That's add what nine, you were yeah. saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and then and then from there you can add your melody line with your pinky finger mm -hmm, mm -hmm. onto mm -hmm. that, which would also be a, yeah. a, an extension. But yeah, yeah. yeah. So. So maybe start with that, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's you know that's a road that you can uh, that you can go down on. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll talk about this again with uh, with Mr. Odo, okay? But that's just for starters, you know. Like uh, let's just let's just go with that for now. Okay? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's actually or there was a mm. challenge. Have you heard of the Twinkle Twinkle Star challenge? No. What is that? That was going around online. Mm. Like a bunch of musicians took Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yeah. And then they reharmonized it. Mm -hmm. So every single person who like submitted, uh, it wasn't a contest or anything. They just did it for fun, right? Yeah. And you could hear all these different versions with mm. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but each version had like different chords, yeah. Or they would have different, you know. So it, it like some of them would like it's like you can hear Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it's like, oh my gosh, that's crazy! Like that, <laughs> those are chords that are you never hear together. No, yeah. Or it's like. Yeah. People people just think like, okay, so these are the bass notes, mm -hmm. and then these are all the things that I can yeah. add onto mm -hmm. it. So, yeah, I, I think like uh, sevens is like the easy one, and then it's mm -hmm. kind of like just in general, like just grow your chord repertoire because yeah. like it just the the more you have, the more you're gonna know like you know just you'll uh, you'll be able to pull it out. Whenever. A great video actually for uh, for this. Is um remember you brought up that video of like the two guys with keyboards and stuff and then like yeah he would ask a question to yeah. like different levels of uh, of musicians They're explaining it yeah. and like and he's kind of explaining it like oh if I played you know like 
this uh this song mm-hmm. and i add this in there like i substitute this it'll sound like this and then if i substitute this chord it sounds like this that would you know that's that's like that's pretty much the best video for that that i've ever seen but um, yeah, we want to get a resident expert to answer this one. So we're going to put a pin on this. So it's not done yet. There's going to be a to be continued. But for now, uh, I am giving you guys this kind of a little preview of what you can do. Yeah. Yeah. I think, well, like, uh, we have Essential Chords Course 2, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it has, like, all Major those seventh chords. chords. Yeah, mm-hmm. seventh and uh, dominant seventh even. And just learning those will get you pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like, it's... Mm-hmm. I mean, even if you don't, if you don't necessarily make a song like even more jazzy, like mm-hmm. just knowing the basis of major sevenths and dominant sevenths um, will help with jazz songs in general, right? Because they're used all the time. Like, yeah, it's pretty hard to find like a jazz song that doesn't use at least one of those types mm-hmm. of chords. That's like uh, <laughs> Benny's version, or is that? Oh just... no, that's uh, Benny's. Benny did a Twinkle Twinkle, I think. Yeah. So that Twinkle Twinkle little star challenge you were talking oh, yeah, about, yeah. Yeah. like Benny would have knocked out of the park, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah, let's put a pin on it. Is it to be continued? Um, Mike, we'll try to get him here next week and answer that question. Well, to its full extent, I guess, because we kind of did, I guess, but not to the extent that Mike will be able yeah. to answer. Uh, well, Mike will give you a twenty that's a minute good answer. Starting point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, I know that that Sarah also does like a oh, beginner, yeah, beginner mm-hmm. jazz workshop mm. with um, pretty much that telling. Yeah. telling oh, you, it's, like, a, it's on here. Do. It's on the ground too. Yeah, um, I, I'm not too sure if it's yeah. It's in the seminars. Did, yeah, she yeah. did a seminar. I think she covered that. Oh, okay. it, it's yeah. in the the seminar section. Somebody, <laughs> George asked where he could watch that. <laughs> so like I, I had to. Oh, check. you just answered that question or something? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the same guy who asked about the court substitutions. So. Ah. I see, I see, I see. Okay, yeah. So definitely, definitely check that out. But resident expert will be here next week. I think. Actually, I have to ask him. You know? I'm just saying that he's going to be here next week. But who knows? We're, we're assuming that he's going to be free. <laughs> <laughs> we're assuming he's not doing anything on Thursday. <laughs> well, All right. I, I, I think like cancel everything. Mike. <laughs> I think what you you answered mm-hmm. right now is like something that's pretty easy to yeah, apply, to right? Kind of do. Mm-hmm. And what Mike will probably get into. Yeah. Might be like a little bit more tricky. Like, yeah, you can. Might take you could talk more. about the flat fives, the sharp elevens, you know, like the whatever, all those, all those fancy schmancy chords and stuff. Yeah. So you can talk about that. <laughs> Where, like, I mean, my knowledge of them is is okay. You know, like I know those chords and I know how to use them and stuff. But I feel like Mike can really like get down into it and explain it. Because if I explain it now and we get him here, say next week, and he explains it again. Well, like, contradict I, with something that I'll say, you know. I don't. I don't want to be called out for anything. <laughs> it, it, it's like the he can explain why, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah. I do things by feel, and I feel like um, I'll 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 call I'll call a chord something else, whereas Mike will be like, "Well, that chord is actually this, but it's the yes, yeah, technically yeah. this because you know in this scale or whatever, if you're doing this, but it's the same chords and um like." I've heard like you guys mm-hmm. talking about chords and stuff, and Mike mm-hmm. will like he'll say, "Oh, it's because like you're intending to go towards this mm-hmm. chord yeah, yeah, or something," yeah. which just like adds. It's like those names. I mean, they're just names for chords. Right, like right, it's right. the same chord, mm-hmm. but Mike knows like the reason yeah. why you you want to call it this yeah. or you want to <laughs> just just so I don't step on any landmines today. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it to the expert to uh to answer. But yeah, definitely a great place to start. Um, chord extensions you can uh, you can substitute those for your uh, for your chord melodies because uh, that's kind of like stuff that I would do with my uh, you know with my chord melody songs anyway like with uh, with the ukulele on the ground songs um, I you know I tend to pick just normal chords like F B flat you know C whatever you know whatever those you know those just normal chords but when I'm playing them like by myself I like to substitute some you know like some color chords in there as well just to make it sound a little bit more prettier. Uh, so I have, you know, I have dabbled with it and I have, I've used it on my own arrangements, but I feel like I could also learn a thing, a uh, thing or two by listening to what Mike has to say. So let's all learn something next week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in the past, have you used like, mm. uh, like a chord book or chord dictionary? Oh yeah. 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 Do There's you, a, do you have any, um, titles? suggestions? Yeah. Um, grimoire of, uh, ukulele, uh, not ukulele, but guitar scales. And then I think there's one called guitar chords. 
No, but for like ukulele. Oh no, no. not for ukulele. I've used guitar ones, but not for you. Um, so, so like, uh, for... like Royce Akuma's is like that one, like because oh. it'll show you like okay, well here's your whatever like D minor, and it'll show you like different um you know different not maybe substitution but different like uh D minors you know that that you can variations. Get, like, D minor. They have variations D minor, like, D minor seven, like whatever augmented and diminished yeah. like you know this. So that's a great a treasury of ukulele chords. That's, oh, okay. that's what it's called, yeah, treasury yeah. Of ukulele chords. That's a great one. I've you know I read that when I was a you know when I was a kid. And the thing is, I didn't appreciate it um, as much as I did as an adult because when I was a kid, it's just like it's just chords. You know, I'm like, why would I have to learn that chord? But then later on, like when I was you know getting a little bit more uh, seriously with, with with the ukulele, like I'm like, okay, well this chord isn't enough anymore you know like g b minor c is just not enough anymore like, i need something in there and that's kind of where i learned you know like that's uh more mm-hmm. uh, color chords to add there yeah. instead that like we always in the office we mm-hmm. always bring the back the idea that are we and we talk about it that music is exactly it's a language yeah like yeah. you're learning a language mm-hmm. and that's like that is like a, a little kid, right? Like they learn <laughs> like how to say, I want food. Yeah. I, I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> I, I need water. And, and, but then all of a sudden, like they're, they're like, how do I say it? I want to watch TV? <laughs> like yeah. what is the, or they got to express gotta, yourself. Yeah. In express yourself. yeah. yeah. So yeah. You, you just got to learn more vo- vocabulary. Yeah. And I, I think that's like the, there, there's, we always get people yeah. who say like, Oh, I only want to learn like a few strumming patterns and mm-hmm, a few mm-hmm. chords, and it's like that's great, but just know that like in the equivalent is like you're just gonna be a baby, yeah. like and that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong, you know. Yeah, being a, nothing wrong being a baby, a little I think, baby. <laughs> and, and, and I think that's the natural growth for a lot of musicians, right? Yeah, is like yeah. that they learn some, and then they're like, oh, I want to express yeah, myself and you more. Just, you you want more, like, and as as a human, like, you want more knowledge, you know. Like some people are okay with it, but they'll catch themselves every now and then like, oh, what is that chord? You know, like, I wonder mm-hmm. if I can play that. Or yeah. what is that strumming pattern? Like, I wonder if I can, you know, if I can do that. Like, mm-hmm. our own curiosity will get the best of us. Like, even though you, you claim, like, I just want to do this. But then you're like, oh, I saw, I went to this workshop with, with whoever, and like, oh, they were showing this. Now I, I'm kind of interested in this now, you know? Like, so it's, it's cool to start off with like baby talk, you know? Yeah. But then um, once you kind of get to it, you'll, you'll and- learn more vocabulary. <laughs> I forget who said it, but there's also a saying too that the more notes you you know, mm. the harder it is to play <laughs> less. Yeah. 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 And so it's the same thing too with chords. Like the more mm. chords you know, it definitely is like something where it's just like, oh, mm-hmm. I can play like, yeah, I'm gonna add this chord in yeah. here. I'm gonna. <laughs> but should you? <laughs> yeah. But should you? Yeah, should yeah. you? And that's that. <laughs> we always say the joke too, right? Like. Jazz musicians just play the right just note. Play the right notes. It's like they are playing the right note, but they know like a lot more notes. <laughs> yeah. So that's why they're playing all of those. Like it doesn't sound necessarily sound good, but it's like, why would you say beverage? Just say drink. Yeah. <laughs> I require beverage. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Bring me a, f- a fizzy beverage, please. <laughs> it's like, like soda? Just say soda. Just Coke? say soda. What's, what's wrong with soda? Just say soda. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a couple couple weeks back we mm. talked about Brian Tolentino, uh-huh. and so I was watching some of his um, yeah. d- videos of just him backing up somebody else, yeah. and it's like so amazing. <laughs> it's <laughs> so good, right? It's just like, he's so good. Yeah, because because that's the thing is mm. that he'll play chords yeah. that are not the normal chords, mm-hmm. but then he'll do it in like such like a classy way it's grace. that it's graceful. Yeah, yeah, where it's yeah. Do- it doesn't stick out. <laughs> no, you know, because no. like. Because you could force yeah. it in, like you could take a chord and like a weird chord and force mm. it in there. Mm. But somehow he plays like really weird chords, but like he makes it, it sound like it fits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like, and that, and that, like we were saying, if you took out that ukulele, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be the like, same. It wouldn't be the same. It yeah, would be yeah. the same. It, it would still be the song. Yeah. yeah. But it wouldn't be the I, song with Brian. Dillon, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, like, I need to get him on a track sometime. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it it would be just great. Yeah. Like if we couldn't do a full class with him, just to have him, like just to talk to him, right? Yeah. Like for one of these it's podcasts good, mm-hmm. or well, something. Yeah, like well, he's, I, he's I, very local. Have you ever talked to like Uncle Brian? He's, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he's super pigeon. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's just like, very, uh, he's just a local guy. Local uncle, yeah. like he's an uncle. But he's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> really knowledgeable. Yeah. <laughs> And then like Amazing he'll he'll make like he doesn't know how to because I've asked uh, him stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and he's like, no, I just make any kind. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And then he goes to like, oh, so I just I stay watching Uncle Benny because you know like 
Uncle Betty go play these chords. Oh, yeah. Uncle Betty, she made a chord, Uncle Betty. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. you know it too. Like, yeah, don't he, pretend he like you don't know like it. He doesn't know it. He's, <laughs> he's, yeah. But he's like, he's humble enough that he actually will go and watch Benny uh, play because uh, he is he's genuinely kind of interested. Absorbing yeah, all that information. What Benny more still, yeah. When, when, when we used to go to NAM, <laughs> I, I like, he's a cool guy too because yeah. he has like a sense of humor <laughs> and it's like very similar to our sense of humor too, right? <laughs> so, like, I remember when you were playing, like, I was talking to Mim and other people and I was like, oh, Gene's not that great. <laughs> like, I've seen better, like, you know. And I think we were watching, I think we were watching somebody else play yeah. at the Kamaka booth and Brian was there and Brian's just like, yeah, it's Kalei, I think. <laughs> Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh. he started cracking up. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's- Our running joke um, between Uncle Brian and I is like, is candy and like and chocolate and stuff because uh, the Kamaka booth would always have mm-hmm. these like great chocolates, and he would bring like a bag of like his his own chocolates, like to you know to to give to people and stuff. And he'll like sneak up like next to me and he'll, like show like show me his pocket, kind of like mm-hmm. don't don't tell anybody, but like kind of show me his pocket, like oh. Oh dang! Like you have like macadamia nut kisses, like you know, <laughs> like oh, can I have some? I was like, yeah, but I brought some for you. <laughs> we we did a pretty good job of probably cutting around this, but you should watch some interviews because Brian will probably be, he's not in the interview, but he's behind <laughs> he's the camera, the right? He's like, in the shot. <laughs> so you should watch some some of the Nam videos. Just like kind of, it's like instead of where's Waldo, like, where is Brian? There's like a picture. Did you take that picture where like Uncle uh, Uncle Brian is? like like have that like look on his face oh, yeah, like yeah. where he's just <laughs> yeah no, <laughs> like it was in one of our videos for nam right yeah. it's so good it's classic yeah, and i wanted to just he... photoshop his face yeah. onto like a bunch of things he was doing that throughout the nam show when we were there <laughs> and so like i just cut together all like the videos that i took <laughs> with him just like peeking into frame <laughs> or, like He's funny. Yeah. yeah. The, one of my favorites. One of my favorite players. The the last Nam show we did, you like went to players and you're asking them like, Oh, what, what was your favorite thing? Yeah. And I remember when you asked Brian, yeah. he's just like, uh and he just held it <laughs> yeah. for like the longest time. <laughs> and it's like, Oh man. Yeah. I think I was like filming it's always like when when we film Brian, yeah. It's hard to film him even because it's just like <laughs> I wanna laugh. I wanna like but the camera's gonna shake. Yeah. I uh, I I went to college with his son, or I knew his oh. son, and I went to college with him uh, in Kapilani Community College right? when, I, when I was there. Is yeah, I have that. Story? That I think I the told Martin. that story here. Yeah, yeah. the Martin story. <laughs> so if you if you guys want to hear that Martin it's, story, go look it's, back. It's in it's in the archive somewhere. I do have it's, a Brian Tolentino's son story. It's the one where we brought all the different ukuleles. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Because I I showed my yeah. um my my Martin ukulele. In, in order to buy that Martin, I had to sell the uh, <laughs> the the new Martin to his son. And use that money to buy the old Martin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> and for his son, who also didn't he give it to? Yeah, his dad? he was gonna give it to his dad because yeah. he's like, oh, my dad doesn't have a Martin ukulele. He has all these kamakas, but he doesn't have a Martin. Like, Perfect. I have a Martin just for you. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if we do a podcast with him, we have to bring that up, right? Like, yeah, we have to, you, like, you like I feel guilty if you still like, have it. If you still have it, I felt like you know, you guys ever seen like the opening to Aladdin and like the um like the the little merchant like in, you know, in the beginning, uh-huh. it's like will not break, <laughs> it broke. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that guy. <laughs> okay, over promising. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> It all makes Julian fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was I a, love that movie. That was a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love. It's my favorite Disney movie. It's that. like a, it's a soprano, but it sounds like a, a tenor. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how you sell it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Aladdin. It, I think it was voiced by Robin Williams too. Like that. That's the, a, the that guy. Guy. Yeah. And, and that's a theory that that guy is the genie. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why would he have possession of the lamp? Yeah, and so like the the whole story is like told him telling. Yeah, mm. and yeah, that, that I I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. go watch a lot. If you guys haven't seen it yet, for some reason, go watch a lot. It's a great movie. <laughs> now let's move on to the next guy. I don't want to because I could go down that road, yeah. <laughs> but let's we gotta stop walking down that road right now before I get carried away because I can talk a lot for like an hour. So um, go ahead, give me the next question. So five five three dude asks. Okay. 
how do you find a string pattern from yeah, a, a picking pattern? Mm-hmm. And I think they mean like if you only know the picking pattern, mm-hmm. like how would you figure out like okay or like, uh, yeah yeah great question actually um when you do the picking pattern or if you know the picking pattern um you have to know the rhythm of the picking pattern because if you can find rhythm, you can strum to to it yeah so for example i'll use mary had a little lamb again so if you have notice you know i was doing these uh these missed rhythm that i was doing and that i'm basically doing a um one two three four one two three four one two three four you know like so there is a rhythm to that picking so because there is rhythm to that picking, then I can, um, you know, then I can substitute my hand on my, my right hand to kind of do that. Instead of picking, I can just do down, down. So one, two, three, four, one, two. And if there's a one, two, three, four, then that means there must be a one and two and three and four, right? So one, two, three, four. So if I was to that, and that'll work. And um, what strumming patterns really is is just that to create a rhythm pattern that will uh, you know, that will accompany a, uh, a melody line or or a singing whether it be a singing melody line a picking melody line anything like that it's just to add a you know to add a sense of rhythm to you know to the song because you can just play. You know, with no rhythm, and it, it'll just sound like a free, you know, kind of free time kind of song. But if you add, once you add strumming to it, then there is going to be a, you know, a set one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, but this only works if your picking pattern, if you're if you're picking to a rhythm, because once you find the rhythm, you can strum to it. If there is rhythm, you can strum to it. Okay, even I mean, I guess you can strum to things without rhythm. Like I, we play out of rhythm all the time, and you can strum to it. But um, so we want to get to that one and two and three and four and, and then you can kind of create your own rhythm to accompany that melody line. So there's no one set rhythm, you know. There's no set rhythm pattern or strumming pattern. The concept of strumming pattern is just that your strumming will, uh, you know, will um will accompany this this melody line okay and there's no like you know there's no strumming pattern so to speak that's set in stone you can always change it up that's why in um in our lower friday live jams i'll give you a strumming pattern and i'll give you three four different strumming patterns you know sometimes and all of those will work in the song because it is only um uh, based on the rhythm Okay, it's not based on on anything else. Not set in stone. You can do down, down, down strums all day long. If you've ever seen any of our uh, songs made easy, it's basically what we do. So we, uh, you know, we simplify that rhythm to just a down, 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 down. It's up to you to add the ups, to add the misses, to add all these uh, other, you know, other elements to the down, 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 down to make your own. But as far as you know, as like, okay, if if I want to play down, down, up. That is a strumming pattern. If I play anything else other than down, down, up, up, down, up, it's strong. It's like, no, I can do down, 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 down while you strum down, down, up, up, down, up. It'll be just fine as long as I am in rhythm with you. Okay. So as long as the picking pattern is, you know, is to a, uh, is to a rhythm, then it should be fine. So Aaron will show an example right now. Do, do me a down, down, up, up, down, up and see. And see. Yeah. with his so he's doing down down up up down up what if i do down up down up down up down up down up it would sound like this even if i played all the ups instead of all the downs i can do that too because If I do something crazy, maybe add like 16th notes instead, instead of 8th notes, I can do that too. (laughs) 
So mm-hmm. there is no, uh, you know, strumming pattern that is set in stone. You can always create your own strumming patterns. You can always change it up. And um, there can be two strumming patterns, you know, at the same time going, you know, like happening. It can be three, it can be four strumming patterns, different strumming patterns happening at the same time. And they can all work together. So um, strumming, don't think of strumming patterns as something like, what is what is the strumming pattern of the song? Because it could just be, you could do down, 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 down. That's a strumming pattern. You can do down, up, down, up, down, up. That's a strumming pattern. Don't think about, ah, oh, is it down, chunk, up, up, down, up? Or is it down, down, up, up, down, up? It's like, honestly, both will do just fine, you know? Yeah. I, and it kind of yeah. comes down to, like, listening to the song, too. Yeah. Because, like, sometimes... Yeah. yeah, sometimes, like, they'll, they'll mm-hmm. change it up mm-hmm. because, like, this part of the song is quieter. Yeah. And then you have to, like, make it fit the rhythm of mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. and then they try to build it up and yeah. like you know your strumming pattern is going to change because they're building up the song yeah so yeah so it's uh, it's yeah whatever fits the song you don't want to stand out yeah you don't want to too or, much or you don't want to take away from mm-hmm. the feel of the song yeah but you want to kind of like you mm-hmm. listen to music basically and then uh, see how how rhythm instruments mm-hmm. are are complementing the song at different parts yes of the song. yes uh, a lot of it too is like personal preference too mm. because like um i think for a cool vehi you you taught like down roll up up down up yeah. or something like that and i can do that like i can do that strumming mm. pattern fine but that's not like what i yeah. would play naturally right, right so like if i were to play i would just do down down up mm-hmm. up down up mm-hmm. and it's like it, i think in that case like uh, instead of me trying to play like more in this other style that you know it's like I can play but just do uh, you yeah yeah do and you. and if I play like the way that I want to play like mm-hmm. I, or the way that feels comfortable to me yeah. I'm better in time like I'm more in in time with the rest of like whoever's playing mm-hmm. um, and less yeah. like not thinking about your right hand as much yeah. or your strumming <clears throat> yeah. hand as much right. Yeah. And and that and that's why like we like people I I think people like say like oh what's the strumming pattern and we we tell them or like we give it to them and then we kind of say like, oh don't don't worry too much about it or yeah. just just do whatever comes easy to you and people get caught up and they're like oh but I I really like mm-hmm. you know I really mm-hmm. want to do it or stuff and that's that's fine like to use strumming patterns but mm-hmm. it is definitely something that like um don't let it restrict you yeah, like yeah, don't yeah. don't feel like you ever have to follow what somebody says a strumming pattern is yeah like try to feel what comes natural to you and like uh you know going back to uh uncle brian tolentino like if you know you watched his uh his videos right when um i, I was watching this video of him and riot helm you mm-hmm. know like uh, mm-hmm. like singing he's not doing the same strumming as riot he's yeah. doing like just down 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 strum sometimes and he yeah. just kind of like just adds the color chords like you know, every now and then. Yeah. No, well, so you know, like so actually, I like I that. sent that video to Jim because uh-huh. we had kind of this discussion um, a while back, yeah. um, and Riotea kind of learned on her own, mm-hmm. and he and she also kind of learned from Halaos, mm-hmm. and it's a it's a weird thing that happens. Like I've only really seen it in Hawaii, mm-hmm. where um, people in Halaos usually in Halaos when they're strumming the mm-hmm. song, they'll strum up on a downbeat. Mm. And that's, uh, I can kind of explain that. It's because uh, when you, a, a lot of halals, you know, they do the faster strumming, which then turns into 16th notes. Mm-hmm. If you do 16th notes, some of the, um, you know, some of the down strum or some of the, what would be one, two, three, four, mm-hmm. sometimes turns into an up. Yeah, but it's <laughs> like... Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't yeah. know. That's, that's what you're... you're oh, well, yeah, so, about, so if, you, if you watch that video... Um, Riot is strumming up yeah, on when, the ones. When like Brian's strumming yeah, down. Yeah, and, and mm. Brian is strumming down. I think mm. it's and it's like that that pickup like the da da dun 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 da da dun 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 da da dun dun dun, right? Like how like yeah, it's it's the way that I think it's most people would think about doing it. Yeah. She does it the opposite way. Mm. Where yeah. it is yeah, like because that, that right doesn't there. totally <laughs> explain because if you're if you're playing sixteenth notes if you start on the one, it's always supposed to be a down. That's true. And That's so, true. like, mm-hmm. so maybe like your two, your number two might number be an, might yeah, be an might up, be an but, but like, but your one, one will yeah. always okay. be a down. Okay. You know? Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> okay, so, that's weird. <laughs> but like, but yeah, try try kind of give oh. an example of it. So, uh, so see, you're you're strumming down. So but, uh, let's see if I can strum up. Oh, 
on that kind of, I get yeah. it. Uh, That's hot. That's so weird. Yeah, but a lot of... I mean, if you <laughs> hmm, watch Halau's, yeah. you'll see that happen ah, um, more often in Hawaii than mm-hmm. anywhere else, I would think, mm-hmm. in the world mm-hmm. where people are strumming, <laughs> you know, the num- number one beat Yeah, yeah. Uh, with an up. Because uh, yeah. I, I mentioned that the 16th notes because I've done um, I've done workshops and stuff before where I teach people how to do like that kind of 16th note strumming. Uh-huh. And, um, and some people, were, you know, will be like, well... You know, didn't you just say before the down, you know, down, up, down, up was the, um, was the, uh, like one and two and. Like yeah, yeah. So some of the, um, uh, some of the some up of strums the are down strums. A, yeah. yeah. If you double up the if you time. Du- yeah, but, if you double up yeah, the time. but the number, your, your one beat, your beat one will yeah. always be a down. Mm-hmm. No matter how many times you double yeah. it up or, or maybe it's 30 opposite. seconds or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I'm thinking opposite because I think. Some of the upstrums would be downstrums. I think that's what it is. Instead of like mm-hmm. downstrums, be yeah, upstrums yeah, yeah. or yeah. something like that. It, I know yeah. there's there's one that will change if you do sixteenth notes. It's it, it's interesting too because uh, <coughs> watching that video, I know the video that uh, Aaron is talking about, mm-hmm. and it's like very obvious where it's like, why is her hand like up <laughs> like when it's like in? But you can still count with the song, mm-hmm. and you can mm-hmm. tell exactly where one is. Uh-huh. It's just that. Yeah, it's like that one of those skills where it's like patting your your mm-hmm. belly and rubbing your head, and yeah. <laughs> or like when you told me like, oh, do count in three four, and I'm gonna play, or I'm gonna count in four four, and mm-hmm. we have to like do it at the same time, yeah. right? You can do it, but like when I try to do it, I try to make it fit back yeah. into four four. Oh. So it's just like naturally, it's just like, oh, that's weird that she she mm. does that. I, it, it's Kind of crazy. I've been experimenting with with, with that. I kind of wanted to a, a write a tune and, and where like someone is playing or strumming in in three, but then like playing in four. Like it's I've you, I've, I've dabbled in it now. Like it, it is super hard, very interesting, but super hard. You you know the way to uh, <laughs> the the way to count out that like that pattern. If you were to do like a four four metronome and a three four metronome, yeah. and it's at the same BPM, yeah. It ends up sounding like the the act the thing to remember is pass the goddamn butter. That's what it sounds like. Dun 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 dun. dun. The, that's what the beats end up sounding like. <laughs> oh, okay. Like if you're you're tapping on one, right? For yeah, yeah, kind one. of. Yeah, that dun, makes sense. Dun 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 dun. dun. And, and like uh, I've I've done the the exercise where yeah. you write out everything and mm-hmm. like you you know when you're supposed to hit here and there. Mm-hmm. And I, I can kind of do it, but, but if I, you just do the, the like, the, the you know, the saying, like, uh-huh. pass the goddamn butter, <laughs> it's, like, so much easier Is to it do like, it. So, like, pass the goddamn butter, pass the god, like, do you say pass again? Like, do you just, cause if, if you're using that, so you just repeat that phrase over and over? Yeah. And then or that, is, like, but tur, like, the last tur is one of, okay, so, like, the, it, one, two, three. Yeah, if you're 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 doing like um if you're doing one hand is doing three four and one hand is doing four four, that first beat the pass is both. Yeah. And then the uh god damn <laughs> it's like the left oh, right. Yeah. It's, oh it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. like the one of, of the next mm. beat and then butter and then you do it again. Boom, 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 boom. And then it lines up again. Oh right? yeah. Dun, 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 that's cool. Dun. That's cool. I'm yeah. gonna have to c- consider that. And there's a new tune that I'm writing. <laughs> yeah. That that's um what is it called? That is like <laughs> I'm such like I, I think people might think like, oh, we, we talk about music like during the <laughs> podcast, but we gotta do other stuff, right? I'm I'm such a, a weirdo that when I go home, yeah. like I do stuff like this where I put two metronomes on, and, like in <laughs> three so four weird. and four four, and then like I try I try to like get them to sync up yeah. together. So I, I'm always like, yeah, it, that's the, something I was, that I just figured out. I was actually just watching a video on YouTube about um, this is kind of random, but it's music related. Mm. It's like what the YouTube YouTube video is titled "What Makes John Bonham." such a good drummer yeah drum- yeah that's from polyphonic yeah 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 that's that's and that's, that's where i got the idea that's the yeah. one yeah. yeah yeah so so led zeppelin was kind of famous mm. for doing kind of experimenting with that mm-hmm. where like the drummer mm-hmm. is playing a, a, a whatever like 
some kind of four mm-hmm. four time. But the or guitar like is, uh, but the yeah, yeah, but the melody line mm-hmm. or whatever is is so, in something yeah. totally different, yeah. and it syncs up on every whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, many uh, measures. Yeah, yeah, that's polyrhythms. Yeah, yeah. like and yeah, like yeah. another crazy one is like uh, I I bring him up is Jacob Collier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and <laughs> but for him. It calls for the drummer to play polyrhythms like <laughs> to himself. <laughs> to himself. Yeah, so oh, he has to oh, play. That's crazy. I, I think he has to play like the hi hat in threes, yeah. the snares in fours, and then the bass in fives. Yeah. Yeah. So well, and then to do yeah. all of that is like, oh my gosh. Well, like I've lived in Hawaii all my life, bro. I know polys, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my rhythm stay polys. Poly, polyrhythm. <laughs> I get polyrhythm. Bro. Uh, I, our, I, I played the Asian drums. Asian pride. <laughs> Our office DJ was right. Pride. Yeah, need your pride. It's like, don't you remember when, when we had the poly drums right next door? <laughs> People don't know what we're talking about. It's short for Polynesian. People use poly as a... Which, uh, sorry, I, just, I need to take a couple, a couple, a few seconds of it. But um, people are like mad with The Rock because The Rock is playing King Kamehameha. He's like Samoan. Mm-hmm. Oof. Jeez. Speaking of polys, I was going to say, speaking of polys, that's less like... It's like the in, the it thing to talk about right now in Hawaii. Like their frustration with the rock. I'm like I thought you guys liked that guy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, what's going on, Brad? I thought you like the rock. Go to go, go easy on him. Yeah. He was like on the rock or whatever. He's anyway, a- uh, do we have another question? Because I can keep going down this road too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I gotta cut myself off. Shoot, I gotta find the question. Um, yeah. or I got I I should find who said it. But somebody asked, do you have any suggestions for strumming, like strumming books, strumming pattern books? Um, just like what I was saying, there's really, you know, there's really no um, no set strumming. So it's about feeling out the, uh, you know, feeling out the rhythm. So instead, you know, uh, instead of learning from a book, I would suggest just like listening to, you know, listening to music. And then just taking your ukulele with you and like putting your left hand over and just kind of doing this and just like just try to follow like whatever rhythm that you're listening to it doesn't because it doesn't yeah. matter what chord it is you just like just move your hands you know it doesn't even matter if it's down down up up down or whatever make your own rhythm as long as it locks with whatever the song is it you know it should be good so you might create your own thing you might riot it and like and do up strums and a down strum and you know, you might it, you might come and up with something works. unique yeah, yeah, yeah if it works then yeah. it works because you know, Riot hasn't won all those hokus for nothing, you know, and you're not going to tell her that she's not playing her ukulele wrong, you know. Um, but if you absolutely need a book, you know, for uh, for for strumming patterns and stuff, I actually have no resources for that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's because we just kind of created strumming patterns to help help make Learn. it really easy. To... I don't. I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Well, yeah. I well, mean, well... strumming patterns were, were yeah, there before, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. we kind of well, like in ukulele. It's yeah. a lot of people know strumming patterns from. Or I don't yeah, know, yeah. Or oh, I mean, I didn't. That, I didn't mean to say that <laughs> no, we wanna, we created the say. concept of. <laughs> A strumming pattern. Yeah, no, no. no, for for like our lessons, we create yeah. a strumming oh, okay. pattern <laughs> like, for oh. each lesson, and, and just to just to make it yeah. really easy to learn that and one song, right? I, like we did it at first just to provide that, right? Yeah, like, and, and yeah. to help people. But like yeah. I think the kind of double edged sword is that people become really reliant Dependent, on it. Yeah, because like when when I was doing the lessons, um, I re- I don't know if you remember this, but like Iko, you know, was was there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and I used to just kind of teach songs and stuff. And how I was taught, it's like, oh, here, you know, if you want to learn a song, oh, that song is like F, D minor, B flat, C. Uh, that's it. And then that's yeah. like what they would tell you. Like, yeah, oh, just yeah. strum this two times, strum this two times and whatever, two times, yeah. you know, like four times, four, or whatever, four times yeah. or whatever, whatever it is, whatever the count is. It wasn't until like Ico kind of like broke it down. Just like, okay, well, you know, if, uh, if you're going to strum like this. Then this is how you say the pattern, you know, like it's, yeah, it's, it was kind of down a into weird two. Drum, yeah, that's why so. that was a down, up, down, uh, down, down, up, up, down, down, because it was loud for us from the oh. quiet time. That was the song, so that down, chunk, down, up, up, down, chunk, up, down. It was like a long strumming pattern that we were yeah. trying to yeah. we were trying to say, and you know, because I, I I had no idea how to how to teach you know that way, so. I was like, okay, break it down into two, and here's the pattern. Like, here's pattern one, here's pattern two, and then put it together. It's like, ah, oh, strumming patterns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Strumming yeah. pattern one, strumming pattern two. Just make strumming pattern C. Yeah, you know, and like, it's, oh, it's like an easy way to kind of communicate mm-hmm. immediately. Like, like this, this is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, exactly yeah. what I'm doing. 
uh, with you know with with this song and um and from there I just kind of clicked that like just just do strumming patterns like we'll teach the strumming pattern even though that was like episode two where we've done strumming patterns before but no, it wasn't but, like but that was yeah. I am boy. That was oh, yeah, I'm that Hawaii. was I am Hawaii. That was in Ukulele Underground. That's right. So it was even before Ukulele Oh, Underground. because the first episode was uh, was Sunday morning. We're just doing like down, up, down, up. Sunday morning, rain is falling. Like we just did down, up, down, ups with Jason and uh, and and her friend. Man, we hey, it's, it's been a long yeah, time. Yeah, we've been doing it's this for a while. Time. So that was yeah for me. That was like kind of when it clicked. It's like, okay, well, we got to provide strumming patterns because like how else are people going to be able to play this song? Because if we just tell them that it's this chord. So, you know, I've learned from books before, um, you know, myself, like I've, you know, picked up uh, a couple of um, like jumping gym, like, you know, books and stuff. And I've, uh, I've checked out like James Hill's, you know, um, James Hill's books or no, oh, what's his name? Um, not James Hill, but the uh, jazz guy. Uh uh, Lau Ritz. Yeah. So, you know, I had Lau Ritz and stuff too, but none of them, like, would show you the, you know, strumming the pattern. Strumming it would pattern, just be like, yeah. here's the chords, and, you know, luckily I knew how to, like, read music, so yeah, it would yeah, kind of yeah. show here's you the, the music, rhythm, yeah. and I would just kind of follow that rhythm, and I would play along with it. But prior to that, there wasn't really anything that kind of showed me, like, you know, and that's why I don't have any resources to uh, to list out, you know, as far as books goes, because it's I, kind of a newer concept for ukulele. Well, yeah. I think it's, like, a, a concept for... um uh, the age of like the internet yeah, and yeah, learning yeah. music on that the way, internet, yeah. right? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. like, I mean, even now, like if you look up guitar t- tutorials, they don't show you the strumming. <laughs> yeah. Oh and, well, I've I've been to like Ultimate Guitar, you know, like lately, and they now show you like, oh, yeah. here's the strumming. I, yeah. Pattern, but like, I, I think the, <laughs> yeah. like or or when I used to use yeah. Ultimate Wink, Guitar, Ultimate Guitar. <laughs> I know you've been watching our lessons. <laughs> 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 when, when I used yeah. Ultimate Guitar in high school, like I remember, there was like some people who would be like, "Oh, but what's the strumming pattern?" How do I and, do? Yeah, how do I? And do the, the guys who taught or who would mm-hmm. put up the tabs, they would be like, "Just do the your figure out your the strumming yeah, pattern for yourself, it out, buddy." Like, <laughs> yeah, because I, I like you, you could tell like that they were like. Oh, you, I put out all this work into this tab, and you're asking me for more, like, <laughs> like yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> I, I was going to say, though, like, mm. I'm I'm a little bit younger than uh, you guys. And even when I was learning ukulele in, yeah. in elementary school, like, they didn't tell us strong pattern yeah. or it's anything. It's just like, just do this. Just follow, follow me. Yeah. D7, G7, C. Yeah. And I think. And they would just do that. And you would just follow. And uh-huh. you would just learn that rhythm and absorb it. And, and it, it wasn't even like you know worrying about like are you doing a downstrum or are you doing yeah. upstrum like just, if just you press. <laughs> yeah and I think if you listen to I don't know about now maybe now they do teach mm. strumming but like back then I think you would listen to kids and some kids would be playing upstrums on downstrums mm, and then it's just they, like they're more worried about getting the cor- you to play chord chords. right mm. so like the rhythm kind of just yeah in Hawaii I think it's taught very much where it's like. The rhythm will come. Let's just figure out the chords first. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. get you to know the chords yeah. first. So, yeah. um, the the answer to your question is, I I have none. <laughs> I had, I've uh, if there is out there, um, I well, want to see it. You know, let please let us know if there's a um a resource. I'm sure there is now. You know, because mm-hmm. um, strumming patterns have have been around for some time now. Um, so I'm pretty sure someone has done a book on it or has done an ebook. Maybe you know I know ebooks are kind of popular with ukuleles yeah. nowadays. There's guarantee somebody who's who's done one, and I would like to know so that. Um, and if once we do, you know, once we get emails of people like kind of letting us know which books are good, maybe we can recommend uh, some on on a future episode. Yeah, you but really listen to the rhythm. Yeah, um, some like. Listen to like the acoustic guitar if there's like yeah, acoustic yeah. guitar in or the music, drums, you know, and yeah. drums definitely. Yeah. Um, for 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 the drums, listen to the hi hat and, listen to the and shaker, and mm. that that will help you. Yeah, because that's pretty much shakers and hi hats. <laughs> pretty for much the chunk, follow, baby. <laughs> yeah, they snare for the chunk. Yeah, but they, that that pretty much follows like mm. how fast your hand should be moving. Cause like um, there's that the boop boop cha boop 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 cha yeah, but still your hand is moving as fast as the hi hat would yeah. be moving. Yeah, and you're just omitting certain yeah. That's true. Yeah. And even like the shaker like. Yeah. 
It's pretty much it's pretty Same much a thing. drum. Yeah. yeah. We wanna we should bring Mark in <laughs> to, do a, <laughs> to do a thing. <laughs> to create your own strumming pads. And we've we've been talking about doing a video like that where you just you know, learn how to feel the rhythm. So so <laughs> Trent said <laughs> Trent said, it's so easy to follow yeah. someone in a song, but it's hard to find the strumming pattern when you're alone. And, like, I, mm-hmm. uh, there was, like, a class that you mm-hmm. we did where you said, like, when you're talking, try and, like, feel out the rhythm of mm-hmm. you talking. Yeah. Like, you don't have to do, figure out, like, the notes you're yeah. saying or anything. It's more about, like, you're, you're just when you're talking, try and, mm-hmm. like, actually kind of, like, play the rhythm to yeah. it. And there there is, like, um... Cause like people who say like, I don't have rhythm, so I, that's why it's so hard for me to learn yeah. strumming or something. It's like it's probably not that you don't have rhythm because like if you you talk, yeah, you speak is, with yeah. a cadence, you mm-hmm. speak with a rhythm. It's probably that you just never applied the idea of using the same thing mm-hmm. to playing to in your hand. Instead. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you know. Whenever I hear people say that, like, oh, it's kind of easy when you're following somebody, but when you're, you know, doing it by yourself, I think we try to do too much. That's why, you know, when we're doing it ourselves, we try to think about, oh, what would someone else do, you know, here? Mm -hmm. And then like, oh, they would do this with the chunk and the roll and whatever. And it's kind of overcomplicated. If you really want to, you know, um, do a strumming pattern, if you're learning by yourself uh, or if you're playing by yourself, there's nothing wrong with just doing down, down, down. Okay, and then going from there, and mm-hmm. you'll learn. You know, like you'll get yeah. it from there. Yeah. There's like, there's nothing wrong. I what was, what was that? Mike quote. There's nothing wrong with the, you know, a beginner isn't a dirty. Word. Yeah, beginner isn't a dirty word. Like, there's nothing wrong if you can't. You know, if you can't come up with a strumming pattern, like quote unquote, that like that. You know, if if it's easy for you to follow somebody, you know, with, with that pattern, that means you can you can follow someone. But if, if it's your turn to lead, there's nothing wrong. With doing down, 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 down. With playing a beginner strum. Um, and then, because, you know, from there, you can do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Nothing wrong with doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up either. Uh, and then from there, you just miss some, you know, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So instead of down, up, down, up, down, up, you you miss that second down. So down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, you know? Yeah. So there's just... There's little like you know levels where where you should where you should go, and that's from the down 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 to the down up down up down up down up. You're slowly feeling rhythm. So, you know, uh, like what Kai was saying, if you have you know if you can speak, you have rhythm. But you know, I do get that some people you know don't have that like the hand rhythm. So that's you know speaking or whatever. That's a totally different like I guess it would be a different part. I think, I'm just trying to well, understand like you know with uh, what other people are trying to they, say because it's easy for us because we have it. They yeah. they did a study where mm-hmm. they took somebody who like it was obvious that he couldn't dance. Yeah. And he couldn't he he had a hard time with rhythm. Mm-hmm. And but they found that like when they played a metronome or they did something mm-hmm. He could like click out a metronome yeah. the same like as anybody else, yeah, which is like, like clap, like yeah, and, it's it, and that's like just identifying mm-hmm. uh, that. Yeah, but it was when it came to songs that he had a yeah. harder time. So it's it's, I think that's where people who say they have don't have rhythm, mm-hmm. it's that they might have never actively tried to listen to, yeah. for rhythm rhythmic patterns mm-hmm. and try to understand that side of music, yeah. right? So that that is like a skill that like if you have to kind of develop. Yeah, and the and more practice. that you do it, the the more discerning your yeah, ear will be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I don't think it's it's something where it's like oh people some people are just born yeah better with this beginner's better rhythm. Beginner's not a dirty word, guys. Beginner's it's, not a dirty word. Yeah, yeah. Also, try this exercise. Remember I said like you know put your left hand and just kind of follow a rhythm and stuff. If that is you know if you claim that like it's it's. It's easier to follow, and it is. You know, I'm not saying you're you're wrong or whatever. It is. Um, have somebody, you know, to to help you out. So you're playing, you know, you're playing a tune or whatever. You play play a CD or an album or on iTunes, and you're strumming along to it. Have a second person pause or like mute it, like mute it. Okay, mute it, and then just keep keep doing, keep doing the rhythm, and then unmute it. So that, like, see if you can, you know, like, if you can keep the rhythm going in after, between, yeah, 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 if you're still in, yeah. you know, in rhythm. So try that exercise 
and then uh, like put the song back on to see if you know if you were if you're correct or if you're you know if you're in time and you should still sync up to you know to the song if you're a little bit ahead then that means you're rushing if you're a little bit behind that means you're you know you've slowed down yeah. but so uh, start with like really yeah. short intervals at first yeah 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 so maybe just like a four easier, count you know, like, or or even shorter yeah. really just yeah turn it count, off yeah. turn it on yeah, yeah to see if you can uh, turn the volume you know, if you down can follow. turn it back up I, I wouldn't pause it I guess because pausing would, would stop the song yeah, just yeah. mute it yeah mute it mute would be, it or would be a good turn idea. it uh, turn the volume down yeah. or mm-hmm. turn it all the way up could you maybe like grab like a, a metronome of, like on YouTube or something uh, like a video I have a phone. And oh yeah, can you can you like mute it though, or turn down the volume? Oh, I guess I you could turn down the volume uh, of your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This yeah. is this is like, <laughs> I I was talking about um how I do weird music uh experiments kind of like by myself. This is another one where it's like I went into so you can just um, slide it like back and forth. Yeah. So you can't. Oh, the, mute that's it. the volume. Yeah. Okay. I went into uh, video <clears throat> editing and mm-hmm. I brought in like a metronome beat. Yeah. And then in video editing, I lowered the, the beat oh. and then I brought it back up like, you know, like a yeah, yeah, measure yeah. later or whatever. And it is like just something where you see like, am I going to still know where the one is? <laughs> Aldrin might not be the best person I am not, for this. Not the best person. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a really it's, hard it's, exercise. It's a, yeah, though. it's an exercise. It's, it's, it's what it is. It's hard to, yeah. to get this. Yeah. Let's go it for long. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god! And, and I think that my like slight hesitation, like yeah, when I yeah. said, oh my god, just like threw everything off. But yeah, yeah. just something you know, something like that, and um. But not just down up, down up, down up. What I'm talking about is a do a strumming pattern. So once you figure out a strumming pattern, you're listening to a song and stuff, and you just kind of like do a baby down, chunk up, up yeah. chunk up. Doing that strumming pattern, you put it on mute. That's just you doing it by yourself. You're not following anybody. Yeah. And then go like unmute it. Then you're following someone. Well, and then you take off that crutch. It's like kind of like that. You're using a crutch. Then you're like kind of taking it off. See if you can walk without it. And then yeah, because yeah. like how much of it is. Like when say when you you're playing a song mm-hmm. and you're you're even though you're doing your version of the song, yeah. how much of it is you're playing along to the song in your head? That's true. Yeah, you yeah. know, like mm-hmm. I I don't know, like personally. What, um. Yeah. Do that, you do you think about like how the original singer yeah, would mm-hmm. sing it or how the original or whoever's version the that, I, yeah, that, I'm, yeah. that I'm doing? Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, so really, that's, you're. It, that, Still that, following something. Yeah, so head. you're kind of following mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You're thinking about how it would sound on the track yeah. Yeah. and then kind of trying to recreate that with right. what limited yeah. instruments that you have. I think uh, that, I think that, like, that's called audiation. Mm-hmm. Like, it's here, like, not having the idea, the imagination of what you're going to play, right? Mm-hmm. Like, while you're playing a song or something, it's hearing it in your head. Yeah. And. Like I I do that, but like I I didn't know it was a thing that people don't do. And I was like, what? Yeah. It's like yeah. what you mean? You, you just you just you just play? <laughs> you, mean you just make music? <laughs> yeah. I, and I think like that's the same thing where somebody said like mm-hmm. that they don't imagine something, yeah. and it's it, that's like, what are you talking about? You don't imagine things. It's, it's crazy because you because you mentioned that it's like I even like original songs and stuff. If I've recorded a song before, you know, like I have that reference in my head you could like you know, play like, it always. in your yeah. head it is and like say exactly we're playing ice cream and that's how i remember lyrics and yeah, stuff yeah. because like it's kind of playing in my head because when you're in your car you're singing along to a song you know all the lyrics you know but like when you're singing it by yourself it's kind of tough to know what you know what the lyrics are so in order for me to kind of remind myself the lyrics are like it or what the you know what next chord i'm going to play or what the picking pattern is it's going on in my yeah, head you're imagining yeah, how yeah, it would yeah, yeah, sound yeah. it's great if it and, was being played mm-hmm. I never I thought guess of it that way. It makes sense because like mm-hmm. uh it's it's something that you kind of cultivate mm-hmm. because you can imagine that artists are the same way like mm-hmm. if I'm going to draw something that I've yeah. seen before mm-hmm. they they imagine what it looked yeah. like and, and they, they can recreate, recreate it. it in their head mm-hmm. and then they just put it on the paper mm-hmm. and so like if you're good at that you'll mm-hmm. probably be better at drawing or mm-hmm. doing art yeah. like that's, you know 
So I, it's the same same kind of skill where like yeah. if you're good at listening and remembering how it how it sounds, yeah, just then you can recreate along. it. Yeah, later. So mm. that's one of those things that you really have to cultivate the skill. We we have members who like they they play or they send us videos and stuff, and then we tell them like, oh, work on your phrasing, mm -hmm. and uh, like we kind of give them tips, but that's like a big part of phrasing. Yeah, is like when you're playing a song. You're not just, I think those people might be thinking about like, you know, note, like they think about the notes that are coming up. Like I got to play D, yeah. E, or, G, or A, fifth fret G, on the A, A string A. or whatever. Yeah. But they're not necessarily thinking of like the song, right? Like, like tune itself. And, and we, notes. <laughs> we hear like, that's where we hear Europa and it's like, yeah. na, 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 na. Yeah. It doesn't sound like, da, na, na, na. Like it doesn't yeah. sound like the song or mm -hmm. it doesn't sound like, and and that's where we tell people to also like think about it like somebody singing too mm -hmm. right yeah like Whitney Houston like how, Whitney how Houston? would that <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know the rest how, you know how, the rest. how <laughs> would that how would that sound on dream <laughs> <laughs> did I make that last week okay you know the rest <laughs> you know you know it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um alan was saying <laughs> this is why you gotta watch the video <laughs> uh for for strumming yeah. she said that i've been strugg struggling with strumming patterns mm -hmm. where the speed of my arm needs to change i do better if they they're like all 16th notes and i keep my arm moving at that 16th mm -hmm. note pace and then just strum or hit the strings yeah. when they need to strum and and that's kind of it's that's yeah. how you're you're that's supposed it to do it mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and you know what alan you're not you're not alone like I think, more <laughs> majority. I should just say majority. Majority of people have a harder time following slow rhythm, mm -hmm. locking it with slow rhythm than it is with fast rhythm. Yeah. So if you yeah. break it down into sixteenths, it's easier. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Because um, I the the metronome that you just gave me was one twenty. Like, mm -hmm. and I was okay with you know like with uh with maybe like one or two measures. But once you did like three or four measures, and I I, I couldn't do it. But if you were to slow that down to like 50 or mm -hmm. 40, where you're like trying to anticipate the next beat and stuff, yeah. like it's it's hard. Wait, so, let's... Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, oh really? my God. No, is... wait, wait. Okay. So, so why don't you like... Um... Okay. Okay, let's let's go... Oh, wait, even you... just following, like even if even if you didn't take it away. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, like... So let's, let's do this real quick. Like, um, let's do... 40 yeah. no 40, 40 40 like we're talking slow yeah slow so so do it right on the beat yeah and then try segmenting it well, later, that's true yeah yeah you know so this is 40 <laughs> just so so just like, try doing it right on the beat <laughs> right there <laughs> it's, I can't even do it like the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, normal. Yeah. It's yeah, tough, so, like, yeah. So, so, so Alan, you're not alone. I can't do it either. But I have the worst rhythm out of all yeah. three guys in this room right now. The mm. worst rhythm. Well, so, I'm pretty so, bad with them. So oh, yeah? so there for, well, you notice that yeah, yeah. if you're trying to do it like right on the beat, yeah, it's only, even harder. It's yeah. hard. Yeah. And then when you when you when segmented, down, up, down, yeah, up, when you down, did down up, yeah. it was easier. Yeah. Even There's, though you were only hitting it on the like one end. There's yeah. a there's oh, it's, a it's tough. Forty is like so gruesomely slow. <laughs> yeah. There's there's a video mm -hmm. called like I think it's called the Ultimate Musicians Test. Yeah. And it's four musicians on YouTube, and they're each taking different types of tests. Mm. And it's just a fun video for them, right? To see like, mm. oh, you ranked higher in mm. you know pitch recognition, or yeah. you <laughs> you have perfect pitch, or oh, you rank better in tempo recognition. Mm. But uh, the guitarist of that group. Like when it came to recognizing if something was faster or slower, mm -hmm. and it's like by micro speeds, right? Mm -hmm. Like you know, like oh, this is sped up by like instead of one eighty, it's one eighty one. Like just recognizing between these two, it's Jeez. the same song, yeah. and seeing which one is faster, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What he he said he did was he tremolo picked on his like his leg, mm -hmm. and by tremolo picking, he could do a consistent speed. Mm -hmm. And then, like when the next song oh, that's came a next on, next level talent. <laughs> when the next song, or like when the the comparison song yeah. came on, 
like you could see if yeah, it's like okay slower, faster, faster. yeah compared to his ah. trauma world. and so like i feel like there is like like uh alan said like how he feels like he does better with 16th notes mm. it's like if that works for you yeah like yeah. that's that is a trick yeah. and even when aldrin was doing that now mm. like you know the trick is to just be able to hit it on mm. that those beats Mm. but it's hard for me i mean i think it's hard for a lot of people yeah mm. and to the trick for that <laughs> might be like you segment it instead of going uh-huh. one two three you go one and two and three and four and yeah. one and in, two in and all four. in all of our like recordings you know that, that we do for the play alongs and stuff if um if i figure out what the beat is and if it's lower than 90 i will double it <laughs> like mm-hmm. just to you know just to just hear so the uh, I can, yeah, yeah i can follow it better um say for example the thing is that like 80 beats per minute and stuff um i will set the metronome at 160 so that i can hear like like one and two and three and four yeah. and one mm-hmm. two it's and just three and easier, four and easier instead. That, right? yeah um jim so, jim was saying in the chat question, jim. no it's just a, oh. just kind of a, a comment okay. he was saying <laughs> that live music does vary otherwise it's Heartless quantized digital music. You know? <laughs> that's a and great, it, that's, good yeah. point. <laughs> the, um, but... <laughs> <laughs> digital music. Yeah, yeah that's okay. that's it. And I'm a live musician. Okay, I'm yeah, not a. I'm not. I shouldn't I'm be. Not, held yeah, to, I shouldn't yeah. be. <laughs> no, well, the, well, the thing is that, like, you know, when you're training with a metronome, mm-hmm. um, you're never going to be perfect. No, like nobody is going to be perfect. But um, you kind of want to strive for that so that mm-hmm. you get better. Yeah at you know keeping yeah. time as close as possible as close like, as, yeah, possible. as close as yeah. possible of course yeah you know like everyone's gonna get slower or faster but i mean with 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 our show it gets at least like 10 20 beats per minute <laughs> yeah, faster. faster so you know like maybe there's something that we need to work on <laughs> i think uh, well i think there is like the you, you work on a metronome just yeah. so you can be acceptable rhythmically <laughs> yeah, right it's not necessarily okay like perfectly yeah, yeah. I, oh, and that's what like well, we mm-hmm. don't want people to be like, uh, you know, sounding mm-hmm. perfect. Because like, when another thing that people send in for us to critique is like them improvising or stuff, yeah. and then you can hear when they they practice like scales mm-hmm. and they they're just, they're just playing scales. scales. And I feel like if you practice with a metronome and you play like you practice to a metronome, mm-hmm. it'll come out sounding like that. Like you can tell like, oh, this person is like very i don't know it's like <laughs> in the pocket. Can, robotic yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and that's uh, like quest love the drummer he said like mm. he used to play like that and then he heard somebody playing not in the pocket and he's like what is this it's like a <laughs> drunken baby right like <laughs> yeah. they're, they're playing all off but like there is a uh like a charm to that too yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so definitely yeah that's that's why people still see our show <laughs> come, come to watch us. Come to watch us, I guess. How much are they going to speed up this time? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Okay, well, um, that's that about does it for today's show. Um, we're going to try to get Mike here next week or the following week. Depends on Mike's schedule. I know Mike is a busy guy because I think uh, school is starting soon. And, and oh, we all know that uh, school Mike's started. Already. Oh, school started already? Yeah. So it might even be harder now. Because, um, yeah, Mike is a school teacher. You know, he uh, he works with the high schools and stuff. Uh, so he's, he's kind of busy, but we'll, we'll try to get him as best as we can uh, either next week or the following week to answer, um, you know, this is his name, George. Yeah. George's question about uh, sub- court substitu- uh, substitutions and stuff. But for now, we try to give you something that will hold you over until Mike gets here. Okay. Um, for those of you folks who are listening to this on the podcast, go ahead and go to ukulaontheground.com and sign up for UU Plus to watch the video version of this. We did kind of come up with a lot, especially during the court substitution um, explanation. I was kind of showing, you know, these chords that you can do. So if you want to watch it, UU Plus is the way to go. There's many other things included in your UU Plus subscription, such as private lessons with yours truly. If you've ever wanted to take a private lesson with me, UU Plus is the way to do it. You can sign up twice a month for, for, uh, for a private lesson. You can do one-on-one coaching. You can do uh, Ukulele Underground University. You can have access to our uh, to our to some of our seminars, to our guest teachers. There's so much more there things a, over on UU Plus. There was just an open mic yesterday, too. Oh, yeah. And that's uh, UU Plus only. Mm-hmm. So. UU Plus open mic. So there's 
plenty of ways to uh, to get better the ukulele or take your ukulele playing to the next level with UU Plus. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now. And for those of you folks who already have UU Plus, if you want to download this as a podcast, go to your um to your favorite podcast place to download and go download it there, such as iTunes. You know, yeah, we're on iTunes. Maybe Podcast One. I don't know. There's like all these uh, places that you can get podcasts now. So there's um de- but definitely iTunes. We're definitely on iTunes. I've seen it. That's where I download it. You know, I like to listen to Kahai's voice before. I go to sleep, so I download it. And, uh... <laughs> that's a that's a lie. <laughs> I do. You're I just rough. I just uh, I I put it in GarageBand and I just cut out me and Aaron to so just all <laughs> all kind <laughs> <bring up high, laughs> <high> comments <laughs> and I just listen to it and I go to sleep. You know, like it it, it puts me in in, in a when I have to edit mood. this, I get so bummed out when I hear my own voice. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll see you folks later. Um, stick around for songs made easy. And after that, we have the one-on-one coaching that we mentioned earlier. So stick around. There's plenty of good stuff happening. It is Thursday and tomorrow, Friday, a lot of Friday Live Jams, plus our private lessons. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for UU Plus to get all this stuff. Have a great one. Aloha. <laughs>